There are a few musical terms, especially in reference to the violin, which you need to know before we start playing. Uh, now, this, when there are two uh, notes of the same pitch joined together by a circle here, this is called a tie. The value, the length of this is uh, the sum of both these notes together. So there are two crotchets here, so it's one plus one beat. So the, val the length of this uh, plate is two beats. So let's play it on the violin. So it's, so it's one, two. So these uh, two notes of the same pitch are played together in a tie. The next one is a slur. Now there are two notes of two different pitches. There's a D here and there's an E. Now this again is joined together in a circle. Uh, this is called a slur. Now how do we play this? This is played on one bow. So if I've got to play this together, it's two notes played together. So that's two notes to play, uh, are played together. Now we could have uh, two or more notes played together, which is called a slur. It's played on one bow. Now if I, if I play on one bow, I can play I played four notes together, so it's played on one bow, it's called a slur. I can play as many, I could play even eight. That's eight notes played together on one bow. So that's what's termed as a slur. Now, this is a dotted note. There is a dot here that you can see after this crotchet. So what does this mean? This means it's, uh, we add half the value of this note to this, to this note, and that's how we play it. Now this note is a crotchet, which is one beat. So we need to add another half to this one. So we have one plus half, which would be equal to one and a half. So how do we, the length of this note would be one and a half. That means if this is one, we need to uh, prolong it for a little more time to make it one and a half. So that's one and a half. So what we need to, uh, uh, to do is just add a half to this note. Now, if this note, instead of a crotchet, this would have, this is a minim, which has two beats. So if there's a dot after a minim, it would mean that it's, uh, it has the value of minim, which is two beats, plus half of two is w one. So we need to add uh, one to two, that would make it three, three beats. So the length of this note would be three beats. So when we play it, we would play it as, one, two, three. So that's the length of this this particular note. So if you see this dot here after the note, it just means that the, we need to add uh, half the value of the preceding note. Now this symbol means it's an down bow. And this symbol here means it's an up bow. Now this symbol here means it's a down bow. This is an up bow. So how this would be played on the violin? Now if I have got to play a down bow, I would need to keep my bow somewhere here and come down. If, we, if this is an up, bow, up bow, so I keep my bow here and I go up. Uh, now the term legato and staccato it determines the articulation of how you play. Now, if I've got to play legato, it means it's nice and smooth. This is legato. Now, staccato is more fragmented, it's more broken up. So the notes would be. So uh, this is staccato now. Uh, staccato is usually uh, is shown as a dot on top of the dot head. So now if this is the dot, the dot head is here, so a dot on top of the dot head would mean that this is st uh, staccato. It has to be played in a manner of staccato. Or if the note is down, it would be somewhere here. Now this symbol is called fermata which means 
pause. It means that the note has to be prolonged at the discretion of the player. Now, uh, the exam uh, example would be if this is a, this is one crotchet, which is one beat, so it would be like this. But uh, at the discretion of the player, you could uh, prolong this note for as much time as you want. So it could be. So that's called the fermata. Now, uh, tempo means how slow or fast you play the melody. Now, the, the tempo is, uh, is, should not be mixed with rhythm. Tempo is the speed of uh, the song. If the, the, the rhythm is one, two, three, four, you could have one, two, three, four, or you could have faster, one, two, three, four, or faster than that, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, uh, the, the speed of a song is, uh, uh, there are certain names which have been given for this. Uh, lento means very slowly which means 40 to 60 BPM. Now, BPM means beats per minute. So the, uh, the speed of it would be uh, in terms of beats per minute. So lento would mean very slowly, which is 40 to 60 BPM. Then adagio is slow, which is around 60 to 75 BPM. Then we have andante, which is in walking pace, that means it's not very slow, not very fast. It's 76 by 200 BPM. Then moderately uh, played is 100 to 120 BPM. Allegro is a little faster. It's between 120 to 140 BPM. And Allegretto is a little uh, slower than the Allegro. Now the usual, uh, the uh, most of the songs are uh, are in the speed of uh, 120 BPM. So this is a kind of a standard which has been given for most most normal songs if they are not played fast or slow. Uh, 